Hi there, DW Berman here from Liberty 3D for the Liberty 3D plugin of the week. And this week's plugin is Al Street's Seaplane. Or Al Street's Seaplane. Uh, here we go. If you go to ATS3D.com, you'll see this uh, page that hasn't been updated in a while. So it's an older plugin, but it still works somewhat. About halfway down the page, you see ever wanted to model on a plane other than X or Z? Try Seaplane. So we try Seaplane. You notice that it's a free modeler plugin for Lightwave 6 to 9 and uh, now Mac OS X. Um, the thing is, the, the, the OS X plugin is for the PowerPC version and it, and it has some bugs, at least in Lightwave 9.6. So uh, I'll, I'll show you that and, and try to give you a way to work around it. But uh, the L script version does work in Mac the current version of Lightwave on the Mac. So first of all, let's check out the uh, the plugin on the PC. And I'm screen sharing here, so this will be a little sluggish, and uh, I have to switch my views. You can see it's not updating quickly. Anyway, I have a ball, and I have a specific polygon on this ball that I want to stencil a design on, and the design is basically this little flame type thing I made. Uh, and we have our ball here. I could just use a stencil straight through the X or the Y or the Z. The problem is it would be stretched a little bit because this polygon does not face directly in X, Y, or Z, so whatever, if I try to stencil straight through, this way or this way or this way it's going to be a little distorted the design will be a little distorted um, other programs can deal with this with something called a construction plane and uh, well we have C plane it's an old demo and there's probably another plugin that does something similar but uh, let me just run it uh, where is it C plane create it's off your screen probably C plane create and what it does is it rotates the the object around and centers it based on the selected polygon and I had that uh, and anything else you have highlighted so like my design is way off to the side here that's because that was in the background layer so let me C plane remove now you can see the plugin on the list and basically there it snaps it back to uh, where it should be so let me run it again. C plane create. Now I can switch to my background layer and position this so that it's actually lined up where I need it to line up on the uh, on the polygon. Flip back to the previous layer. Select my polygon here, and now I can get a perfectly lined up stencil awesome there we go now if again if you uh, moved this will move anything that you have highlighted whether it's in the foreground or background so you want to make sure you only select the uh, the layer you want to move so then see plane remove hit all to whatever see my view and there you go the design is on the ball now that's the way it's supposed to work and it works pretty good on the PC again there are some limitations you don't want to twist your uh, your object around out of position. Uh, I will say the plugin seems to operate uh, pretty well on when you have multiple items selected it'll, or multiple layers. It'll it'll work with that. So there we have. Uh, we can do direct Y operations on that that particular polygon. It also uh, works when you have multiple. Uh, polygon selected but it just uses the last polygon selected as the the base there you go see the last polygon selected and I could you know rotate this around or actually rotate everything around undo but uh, when I apply the C plane remove it's gonna put everything out of order so you don't wanna do any major changes like that. 
Anyway, like I said, in the uh, the the Lightwave, the L LSC version does work in uh, Lightwave 10.1 on the Mac. And to prove it, I can uh, just select my polygon here and run the ATS C plane. L script and since it's an L script it's going to take a while longer than the uh, than the plugin but uh, at least it works it gives us the functionality we need so let me uh, just redo the little bit of work I did internal buffers ah okay that looks like it's going to be cranky so, uh, at any rate, I could, uh, attach something to this at a specific angle. Say I want to put a disc directly on this, uh, or a cone, I guess. <laughs> directly on that one polygon. I can do that. Utilities. I should just add this to the interface. And there we go. Basically, everything that was selected is has been moved. And again, like I mentioned, the plugin it does have an older Mac version, but there are some issues with it. Say, for instance, I select this and I go to C Plane Create. And you can see it lines up where it should, but when I go to these other layers, we find out that, well, something's not quite right. Uh, our points are over here, off to the side, where, but the, uh, the polygon looks like it's there, but I can't select anything. So it's not really there. And if I go to these other layers, we see something similar. We have our points that are just kind of off to the side. So if I you know, do the remove, you, you can kind of get away around that by uh, just, you know, copying your uh, geometry beforehand or cutting it, then, uh, then doing your move, your C-plane create. Then switching back to that layer, paste, position, flip back, stencil, and I'm having the same issue I had in the other one, but you get the idea. So that kind of works. That's a workaround. Um, another thing. And that is C plane create. Where? And C plane restore or remove. And ATS C plane. That's C plane.